Sporting a 3.63 ampere hour battery, the Motorola Droid Max 2 promises a usage time of up to two days. That means you can check your email, browse the web, and basically you get to do whatever you usually do on your phone without having to charge it until tomorrow night. During my time with it, the handset had a solid battery life. After I ran a bunch of benchmark tests, took the camera out for a spin, and browsed the internet, it survived a workday and into the evening without a charge. In our testing labs, the phone continuously looped video for 12 and a half hours. That's a great time to clock in, and longer than the nearly nine hours Motorola's current flagship, the Moto X Pure Edition, took. The Max 2's non-removable battery features Quick Charge 2.0 technology from Qualcomm. As for its other hardware, the device features a 5.5-inch 1080p display, a 1.7 gigahertz Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor, and 16 gigs of internal memory with the option to expand up to 128 gigs. On the back is a 21 megapixel camera that can shoot high definition and slow-mo videos. For your selfies and web chatting needs, there's a five megapixel shooter on the front. The handset is also water resistant, but not fully submersible. So while it won't survive a full on dunk in the pool, a few drops and splashes of water shouldn't hurt. In addition, the phone is basically the US's, or more specifically Verizon Wireless's, version of the international Moto X Play. For the most part, everything is the same. It runs Android 5.1 Lollipop, and you'll get features like Moto Display and Moto Voice. But you'll also get bloatware from the carrier. That means you'll see a bunch of apps from Verizon, Amazon, and others that you can't uninstall. If you're interested, the handset is currently priced at $384, or $16 a month for 24 months. For more about the Motorola Droid Max 2, including our full review, check out CNET.com.